How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So we are just picking up where we left off in the previous video and we just got the new property mode and I had a quick walk down back to the farm. I really could have driven the Ford back down here but I really just fancied a walk. So had a walk down, had a quick lunch and we'll head back to the new property uh, very soon and we'll get the grass rode up, collected and into the silage bunker and hopefully we end up with a fair bit of chaff in there that will turn into silage. And once we've got the grass off of that field, we'll get in there with the plow. We'll plow that all up and we'll get that ready for seeding again. We'll get some lime and fertilize on there and seed it with grass again. And yeah, then we'll know that we are growing a nice high quality, high yielding grass over on that property. And while we have the plow out... Uh, we are also going to join up these two fields so that we have one big field over here. Now, I'm kind of thinking about maybe putting this field uh, back to grass, which is what it was originally. But I'm not sure. Uh, I kind of want to see what happens with the field over there. How much we get off of that first before I make a decision over here. But yeah, it's also a bit hard to tell because I don't really know the condition of that field currently. So it might be... A little bit different if we reseed it and we know it's well fertilized and lime and all of that so um yeah it, it's gonna be a little bit hard to tell but i'll have to make a decision on this because um yeah i don't think we'll get another cut off of that after reseeding before we want to seed over here so that's probably not going to happen so i'll just have to pull the trigger on it and make a decision whether we're gonna put this back to grass or keep it arable i'm not a hundred percent sure at the moment but while I was having lunch, I took a quick look to see if there's any uh, jobs available and I did find a harvesting job just up the road. So it's a wheat field that needs harvesting. So I think we're going to do that first. I just want to try and continue to get some money into the bank account because, well, that's never a bad thing. Uh, but yeah, we'll head up there and we'll take a quick look and see what we are working with in terms of the field and equipment. I don't think it's a field that we have worked on before, although it is uh, sort of in an area where we have done a bit of work. So I might recognize the field when we get there, but I'm not sure. But um, yeah, once we get that done, we'll come back to uh, the property over here and we'll get this done. I don't think we are going to be doing any plowing today, uh, but we'll definitely get the rowing and the collecting done on that field over there and get it into the bunker let's not drive into the hedge uh, but yeah we'll well i guess we are almost here so we need to access that field through well kind of our neighbors over here we've done quite a bit of work for them here uh, the work that we are doing today is not for them but the easiest way to get to that field is actually uh, through here so um yeah, they did say it's okay for me to get through here. And I do see all of the equipment out there. So it looks like we are working with a case combine and a Massey tractor. Very nice. I actually think that's one of those, what are they, 36 something? I do like those tractors. They're very nice. I did actually see some of them for sale, but they are very expensive. But I would like to have one of these on the farm. 3670, that's what it is. A really nice tractor. Love it. Maybe someday we can buy one of them. And we have ourselves a 7150 combine. Okay. So the field over here is... Hmm. Quite a big field. A little bit bigger than I was expecting. But we do have some big equipment as well. So it shouldn't take too long at all. So yeah. I am going to check over everything. Well, I'll get this fired up so that it can warm up a little bit. And I'll check over everything, make sure everything is good to go and working as it should. And then we'll get the drone out. We'll get into this field and get it knocked out. And then we'll head back to our new property and continue work over there. So, um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll jump straight into it. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy.
Right, so that is job done. And unfortunately, that took a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. It was just kind of slow going, and it really didn't help that the delivery point was also a long ways away from here. And even though that Massey is a very nice tractor, it's not exactly a rocket ship, especially not with a heavy trailer on the back of it, so it took a while to get down there and back as well. Lee's back wasn't too bad because the trailer was empty, but it's also a lot more uphills coming back. So, um, yeah, kind of even out there. But yeah, it's 20 past 4 at the moment, but I can't really complain too much because we did end up making quite a chunk of money over there. Uh, we are currently sitting on £19,752. And something that I have been kind of thinking about is maybe buying a different vehicle to get around. And don't get me wrong, the quad bike is a great little vehicle and it has served us very well and I'm sure it will continue to do so moving forward. But I would like something, well, maybe with like a windscreen would be nice. Um, so either a cheap little pickup truck uh, would be fine or even a side by side. I would be okay with a side by side. So I might keep an eye out. I'm not in a huge rush, obviously, um, to, to get something. It's not a critical piece of equipment, but it would be kind of nice. So I might keep an eye out. For something but um, yeah anyway uh, this layout so far I mean we haven't used it much but I do like it it, it does seem like it's gonna work really well for us I, I do like the, the new position of the shed it was in a bit of an awkward spot over here so I think it works out a lot better over there and yeah we'll see how things go with the bunker I I don't think we're gonna fill this much today but I'm sure I'm gonna try. Yeah, I think we still have enough daylight left to get some work done over here. It um, should be a few hours before it goes dark and I really want to try and get this grass off of this field today so that we can get uh, back in here with the plow and uh, maybe tomorrow. So yeah, we are gonna get this connected up and it's gonna be interesting to see how this ends up working. Hopefully, it does a good job. Let's get that lifted. Fantastic. All right. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I think we'll... I think we'll just start over here. We'll create a bit of space around the end of the field. And let's drop that down and see what it does. Okay. It um, seems to be moving grass which is good that is i guess what it's designed to do yeah i mean a bit awkward around the corners but that's to be expected we really shouldn't be going around corners with us but yeah we can always clean up a little bit afterwards but yeah that seems to actually do a good job yeah so what i'll obviously try and do is sort of create a line down and then I'll run back on the opposite side and fill up that row and get it nice and straight but yeah I, I don't know what I'm gonna do on the ends I might actually just clean up on the ends a little bit first and then we'll sort of run the rows because obviously the the way this is set up it's not gonna work very well around the corners and we're gonna end up with some weird spots that are gonna be hard to collect so yeah I might clean up the edges first create a bit of space for us and um, then we'll run the rows. But yeah, we are going to hop straight back into this. And um, we're going to get the drone out and we'll get this field knocked out. So we'll get it rowed and collected. I don't know if we'll do any compacting today. Probably not. I think we'll lose daylight before I can do that. And um, yeah, we don't have any spotlights or anything on this property. So yeah, we'll probably just do that uh, maybe early tomorrow morning uh, before we get back into this field to do plowing so yeah we'll see how it goes anyway if we do have some time uh, to do that we will but i i really doubt it but yeah we're gonna get the drone back out and we're gonna get this field knocked out so for now sit back relax and enjoy
Alright, so that is job done. And that went very well and it didn't actually take too long. So we ended up with just over two full loads of the trailer. We just had about half a row left after we filled the second trailer. And if memory serves, they said this holds about 13,000 liters. So I'm guessing we've got about 26, 27,000 liters over here. Uh, so just for interest sake, I worked on 27,000 liters. It might even be a little bit more than that, but 27, I think, is a safe number. And I checked the prices for silage today. Now, keep in mind that the prices are about as high as they have been all year at the moment. But this little heap over here, if this was silage, that would be worth about 15,000 pounds, actually a little bit more than 15,000 pounds. So it doesn't look like much, but that is quite a bit of money sitting over there. Well, it will be eventually. Obviously, we still have to get that compacted down and then we'll get it covered and leave it to ferment for a few weeks and then it will be worth a fair bit of money. Now, I don't know if we can really do better on that field in terms of how much we got off of it. I'm hoping we can, which is exactly why uh, we'll get the plow onto the Ford very soon. And we'll get this plowed in and um, like I mentioned, we'll get it limed and fertilized and we'll get it reseeded and we'll make sure to maybe do another application of fertilizer after that once the grass starts growing a little bit so that we can get the highest yield possible off of this field. Like I said, I hope we can do better than that, but I guess only time will tell. Uh, we don't really know the history of this field, so I don't know how good uh, this really was, but hopefully, hopefully... Uh, we can do a little bit better, but not bad at all. Really not bad. That is a um, a good chunk of money that we'll make off of that cut there, which is fantastic. So yeah, I think I'll probably leave the Ford here for the night. Um, you know what, maybe, maybe let's put it in the shed, because uh, I'll have to walk back here to grab the Ford at some point. I would rather leave the Ford here and take the quad bike home. But um, yeah, my my walk home this morning kind of left me in a bit of a predicament. Um, actually, let's put it in the, the first bay over here. Uh, yeah, which basically means I'll, I'll have to walk back here. I'll have to take something home and walk back here and fetch the other piece of equipment. But it's good. It's good to get the exercise it's nice to get the blood flowing because do sit in the tractor for quite a few hours at a time okay that should be okay get disconnected fantastic and we'll put the ford in the other bay the shed is working very well i'm so happy with this much better location and it gets a bit of protection from the the hedge at the back here as well so we don't have as much wind and rain coming through here as you would otherwise so yeah quite happy with that so we'll grab the quad bike we'll head back home and we'll probably call it a night at that point but yeah I really would like, like I mentioned earlier, to get something uh, other than a quad bike to get around with. Especially on the, the longer drives when we're heading uh, further south to get to uh, contract jobs and that sort of a thing. It would be nice to have something that's maybe a little bit safer. Uh, the quad bike is fine for around here and obviously it's very maneuverable. So it's nice to get around the fields and so forth and do field checking. So I'll definitely keep the quad bike. Uh, it, it definitely has a place on our farm. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely hang on to that. I, I won't be selling it, but it would be nice to buy something else. But yeah, quite the productive day. Uh, we ended up taking that harvesting job and made a good chunk of money over there. Actually made a lot more than what I thought we would. And we got that grass field all rode up and collected and ready for plowing so that is going to be the next job then uh, we'll we'll get these fields connected up here and we'll get that field plowed up and we'll probably have to do a bit of a uh, lime and fertilizer over here um, as well as that other field i actually want to check real quick if we do have i think we're out of fertilizer 
Uh, we are. We don't have any fertilizer. Is there any fertilizer? Let's hop on that. Uh, there's a little bit of fertilizer in there, but I think we'll have to buy some more, which is not great because fertilizer is massively expensive. Uh, we do still have three bags of lime over there, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Now, we do go through lime pretty quickly. But we're good on seeds. So, yeah, we'll probably have to be uh, doing a, a run to the shops uh, very soon, probably in the morning, to be honest, to get some fertilizer and some more lime. So, yeah, that's going to be an expensive trip, but it has to be done. And, yeah, then we'll get back into the fields and, yeah, we'll, we'll get them knocked out. But we are going to leave it there for today. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you all next time.